So I've had my Bauer High Blood Chest Protector for about a year now. My entire life growing up, I always struggled to kind of find that perfect chest protector, that one that you know made me feel like I was huge, like I was filling out the entire net, but at the same time, I'm super mobile. Mobile in the sense that I can do whatever I want with my arms, and specifically when I'm making saves with my blocker and my gloves. Well, in 2017, I got the Bauer Vapor 1X, and I absolutely loved it. It was my favorite chest protector at that time. And it was absolutely amazing because it checked almost all the boxes. It was super mobile. It was the most mobile chest I'd ever owned. Still a little stiff sometimes, but for the most part, pretty mobile. But towards the end of its life, it got really soft. Fast forward to last spring, I heard from a few other pro goalies that the Hyperlite was going to be game changing. It was going to be the best chest on the market by far. So I went in, I tried it on in store, and I knew right away that this was going to be the chest for me. I got custom colors to match the team that I play for in Sweden. Obviously, nobody sees what's under your jersey, but I think most goalies can appreciate the style aspect of it. And it's a mental thing. Look good, feel good, play good. Simple as that. But the most important thing about this custom order is that I wanted things beefed up. I tried the ultrasonic chest protector the summer before that in 2020, and it was super mobile. It was really, really mobile for you know being a not designed to be a mobile chest protector. But the arms were really, really soft, and I felt anything in the biceps, especially in the forearm area, it was really, really soft. So with the Hyperlite here, I reinforced the biceps. I also found that the arms on the Hyperlite were a little bit too long. I think most chest protectors nowadays, the arms are just a touch too long. I prefer them a little bit shorter. Being six foot five, I kind of have like T-Rex arm. So I got 25 millimeters taken off of the arm length and I found that to be perfect so far. And honestly, if I do another order, I might even do 40 millimeters next time. 25 is great for mobility, but I do find myself pushing up the chest protector a little bit on my arms from time to time. So I think 40 might be that sweet spot, maybe too much, but I don't know, this is just an idea that I have. I also love how wide the chest looks. So it's got three pads or I guess three pieces on the shoulder that help to kind of poof it up. This is like why Andre Vasilevsky looks as big as he does. Hence why when you watch me net, here i'm looking thicker than a snicker i mean this chest piece is massive it's also got three pieces in the bottom of the chest that come velcroed on and you can take them off those were on my vapor 1x but you couldn't remove them so i ended up cutting them out i just found it impeded the mobility it was way better taking them out also new for the hyperlight they come with a fight strap on the back now that's great and all if i sign on the fed or the fphl for next season but i like to keep my jersey tucked so you can't rock a great jersey tuck if you're using the fight strap. So for those reasons, I don't use it. When the order got submitted, it got quoted around eight weeks. With the whole global shipping crisis, whatnot, I thought eight weeks was still pretty generous. Believe it or not, they actually delivered it in three weeks. Within three weeks from ordering it, I had it ready to go in my hands. It produced it super fast. And from the moment I got the chest, I was absolutely in love. I mean, look at those fresh colors. It was a thing of beauty. It was probably the most beautiful chest I've ever seen. One of those things where like, it's so beautiful. It's almost like artwork. You don't want to use it. You just want to hang it up in your garage and let people look at it but obviously you're not spending this kind of money on a chest protector for it to be a garage ornament you want to get the most out of your money you want to play with it i will say though that since the day that i got it the first couple ice times i feel like the shoulder floaters and the arms have deflated just a touch they're not as poofy as they were i might have to make some adjustments moving forward to kind of get back to that look but overall i'm really super happy with it and i don't feel any shots there's no stingers or anything this is also kind of my biggest complaint about it because i got the biceps reinforced and maybe bauer messed it up and they reinforced everything but every single shot that I get up high, like super up high, like collarbone, shoulder area, I have a really, really hard time controlling it because it just rockets off. Like most chest protectors, they hit you in that area. They're kind of soft rebounds to kind of trickle down. They fall in your glove or in front of you, so it's easy to cover. I understand that Bauer is trying to get rebounds to go as far away from that as possible. But as you can see in these clips here, these are rebounds that, in my opinion, are dangerous and are way more dangerous than if it just fell in front of me. I cover it up simply. Maybe there's a scrum in front of the crease. I think that this is something that they should fix moving forward because I'm looking at over the course of the lifespan of this chest protector. I might use it for two years. Some people might be using it for four or five, but I'm looking for in that two years, is this going to generate one, maybe even two extra goals against me in that time? I'm looking for any reason to shave off my goals against and boost my save percentage. So that's something I'm looking out for. It didn't cost me this season, but it is something worth noting. Uh, Bauer says they added rebound control foam in the chest to deaden pucks, maybe like in the sternum piece right down the middle of the chest. But as far as the rest of the chest goes, like this thing rockets pucks off the biceps and rocks them, rockets them off the shoulder floaters. And um, kind of concerning, but overall, I, I haven't had a problem with it so far. No goals in the net as a result. So overall, I love this chest protector and I'm really, really happy with it. Great feel, super, super lightweight. I mean, you're buying a chest protector called the Hyperlite. If you bought the Hyperlite and it was super heavy, I'd probably be pissed, but that's not the case here. It's super light, probably the lightest chest protector ever made. Maybe somebody can fact check me on that in the comment section. I don't feel any stairs, super, super mobile. And like I mentioned, just a beautiful piece of artwork. It's unbelievable. So uh, that's my review on the Bauer Hyperlite chest protector. I had it for a year. 
highly recommend pricey if you're going custom worth the money though i think you're looking around 900 to a thousand bucks a pop pricey but again totally worth the money in my personal opinion if you have any questions about the hyperlight chest protector or any gold thing in general you can always hit me up on instagram or tiktok at trav reuters send me a dm drop a comment let's talk old tenants sometime anyway i want to thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video